This weekend was K-State's 63rd Annual College Rodeo. There were all kinds of events where contestants from 18 colleges and universities were in attendance. Channel 8 reporter Alex Gailey spoke to members of the K-State Rodeo team. Some of the events for the men's teams include bareback riding, saddleback riding, bull riding, steer wrestling, ream roping, and calf roping. While the women's team's events are barrel racing, breakaway open, goat tying, and team roping. Fourth year K-State rodeo coach Casey Wynn travels with the team. Well, this is the only weekend that we host here at K-State for college rodeo. Um, we go to the other colleges for nine other events during the year. The K-State rodeo had a big turnout this weekend with fans coming from all across Kansas. One of the highlights for K-State was Kyle Ike's rodeo performance. Uh, this weekend went really well. I'll say I didn't have as much luck in the team open, but in the steer wrestling I was lucky enough to make the short round, which is the top 10 fastest times, come back on the short round on Sunday. And then I was lucky enough to make that, and I ended up winning the short round, and ended up third in the average, which is the fastest on two steers. Last year, the K-State rodeo team didn't have anyone who placed, but won the Fort Scott's women's team's rodeo. This year, K-State made it their goal to improve. Currently, the men's team is ranked 8th and the women's team is ranked 7th out of the 20 schools involved in the rodeo. In Manhattan, Alex Scaley, Channel 8 News. You can keep up with the K-State Rodeo by going to their website, kstaterodeoclub.com.